Welcome back. This stream was Wednesday, July 10th, 2024, the day before Katie was rushed to the hospital and airlifted to the same hospital. She was at May 2023 W the same issue. This stream that she's at a man's house hanging and drinking, hers the calendar I put in the last update video that I posted. Okay, so look, here's the thing about me. I want to be taken care of. I've always kind of been like that. Like, I like men who got money, who doesn't, of course. And I was just sitting here thinking, like, I'm 37. I'm a fucking waitress. Never been married. I want to be a trophy wife. Well, what the fuck's so trophy about you? And then I got to thinking, I was like, you know what? Really, there is not shit. And I can end that, uh puts me over the top or like gives me that little push you know I mean I guess if drinking was part of being a trophy I would have a fucking medal I'd have I'd have the biggest trophy but other than that why do I feel like I deserve or not even deserve I wouldn't say deserve or I want this lifestyle but where is this coming from like who the fuck are you Katie I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. I couldn't. Uh. No, this was like probably... This is like five years ago that he had that car. I'm sure it's impounded and long gone by now. I'm sure. It's probably in the junkyard somewhere in pieces. Melissa, thank you so much. He, he said, I know. I don't know how he did it. This was like five years ago. I went live. Cuzzo came over in this little bitty hatchback Ford Focus. And I happened to be live. Like I said, I was live and we were talking. And I looked, happened to look into his car and I was like, where in the fuck is your steering wheel? And he's like, oh, I ain't got one. And we all died laughing like, what? How do you drive it? And then he gave us a little demonstration on how he drove it. It was just like, it looked like a square where the steering wheel gets totally mounted into and he just drove it like that with the <laughs> I don't <laughs> oh my god I forgot all about that <laughs> I got him around I got him from Greenwood to in the west side of Indianapolis where I was living at the time and he helped me he was there to help me like put up the pool or something and his current wife <clears throat> well his soon to be ex-wife so the first time I met her was about five years. It was right when I was moving into Brownsburg. I had gotten to my house that I live at now. And um, I had said something. Oh, I know what it was. I said, Cuzzo, I need you to help me put up this flag. I need you to help me put up this flag. And he was like, okay. And he put it up and it said Trump 2024. And his new wife was like, uh, you like Trump? And I'm like, uh, you don't like Trump? And she's like, no, he's bad and all this stuff. And I was like, it, like we got into it a little bit, you know. Then on Facebook, she tried to do the same thing. For, so I blocked her. From that moment on, she's done nothing but talk shit about me. She don't even know me. I met her one, well, more than once. A couple of times. Her kids were bad, very bad kids. 
We were trying to put up the pool. One of the kid, Casper, kept grabbing the legs of the pool and trying to whack us over the head with it. And then finally, I took it out of his hand and popped him on his ass and told him to go sit down. I got fed up. Like, why am I parenting your child, dude? It doesn't matter. Those kids are in CPS hands now and have been for the last three, four years. But she did not take care of her kids whatsoever. And I say that, and I mean that. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. And she's like, you tried to parent my kid and da-da-da. Well, you weren't fucking doing it. I wasn't going to let him go bash me over the head with a damn pool leg. It's ridiculous. go over to my parents house and that one just like to hit had like issues man I don't know what was up with Casper but he would just like to hurt people and hurt animals and stuff like that well he came over to my parents house he was over there he whacked my dad a few times my dad said get this hill rod out of my house and then dad upset her too because my dad was not having it he said get your little hill rod exactly what he said get your hill rod out of my house and then he went after his uh at the time it was the other dog was still alive. I cannot remember. The one that passed away. I don't know. But the kid tried to put hands on the animal. And then my mom was like, all right, yeah, y'all got to go. <laughs> you know. If you were there for that pool setup, that was, that was wild. But we've had a lot of wild times. I don't know every single body. I know the, a lot of people in here. I don't know every single body. Every every single person in here I don't know. You're not the only one that I don't know. Hello, Texas. Here for the tea. What tea? Can you all hit the like button, please? Then you know. You know how bad that kid was. He was literally taking the legs and trying to bang us over the heads with about the third time I snapped. Thank you, Misty. Appreciate you. Yeah. He was just messing around too much. He had, you know, thank you, Amber. Tried to knock over the camera, was just being disrespectful, and you could tell he had no guidance whatsoever. And Cuzzo wasn't doing his job either, so I had to, and she got mad because I was parenting her kid. But she was really mad because I had Cuzzo put up a Trump flag. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're living in a fucking motel when you can afford it. Other than that, you're homeless. So how did Biden treat you? Keep voting Biden. Keep voting that way. No offense to those who love Biden. But she's just one of those. Like, perks. You go out, you work, and you know what? That's what America's about. The American dream. If this is not, what's the word for it? Socialism. Like, in her eyes, it should be a socialist country. Like, fuck that. The gas station clerk is going to make as much as the doctor. Get out of here. That's what makes America great. You want you want to do good, you'll do good. If you don't, you don't. If you want to be a waitress, you'll be a waitress. If you want to be a fucking gas station clerk, you will. If you want to be a doctor, you will. And you're going to get paid appropriately. That's it. So don't be blaming it. Oh, all these rich people. What? Excuse the fuck out of them. They went and got an education and got a good job. What? Why? Why? Are you upset? You could do the same thing. We all have the same amount of time. Communism. Okay, yeah. I was saying socialism, communism, whatever in the hell. But that's how she thinks. She thinks because she does nothing, she should get paid the same amount as a fucking, you know, as a judge or as a lawyer or a doctor. Like, get out of here with that thought. She's, and that just grinds my gears. Seriously. Like, by no means am I rich. I'm a damn waitress. I barely make it. But still, I see it for what it is. You know? Democrats just want to take, take, take and not do a damn thing. 
Republicans are like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna happen. You're gonna work for what you got, and if you don't work for it, you ain't gonna get shit. I mean, that's just that simple. Alright? And good on them for being rich. Hell, they made good choices and did what they had to do to be where they're at. Trust me. Some of us are lazy and some of us just are comfortable where we're at. And, but you don't see me bitching, you know? I don't feel like I... The world owes me anything or the government owes me anything. No. That's not how this works. You know, if I wanted to make, you know, and get all this money or whatever, then I'd take my ass to school, get a bunch of student loans, because that's how it is in America. you got to have student loans, and you're going to pay on it for the rest of your life, and, you know, and go and make yourself, you're, you'll are you get what you get. That's it, but you got to put in the work. And that's pretty much how I see Republicans, and again, I am not a rich person by any means. I'm a damn waitress, but I choose to be a waitress. I could have chose to be anything in the world, but I chose to be a waitress, and that, you know, I got to deal with my choices. But she wants a handout for not doing a fuck if she don't work. I ain't never seen the girl work. She collects a check every month. And all them kids were to her was money, money, money. Now all the kids are gone. She's living at the Motel A and saying, fuck Trump, and all that. Well, fuck you too. What have you done to better yourself? Just my thoughts. <laughs> I think the majority of people think like that. At least I hope they do. Yeah, I think I think uh, our uh, social security system is definitely screwed. It's definitely not right. But that's kind of why we need the immigrants in here feeding into it so that us Americans can actually collect it because if not if it were on they have done spent our money okay so that's why the Democrat or are, are bringing all the illegals in and shit like that letting them work because at the end of the day we get their tech you know it's going into the social security they'll never be able to collect that goes to taxes social security we make money off of them but enough is enough we got to figure out other ways to make money than letting Illegals in, to say it nicely. What about, we're all in a pursuit of happiness, aren't you, Ronald? I mean, who isn't? Trump said no tax on tips. Yes, he's got my vote. He already did, but him saying that, like, more so he's got my vote. Looks like it's going to storm again. Mm -mm. Like holidays and during certain parts of the year, I'm, I do better than others. But what I need to learn to do for next summer is all the money that I make in the winter, every shift I make, put $20 back. Put $20. If I make, if I have a really good shit, like say I make like two, three hundred bucks, put 50 bucks back. I mean, really at the end of the day, I can do that even though I don't want to. So that way I don't struggle as much in the summertime, you know? You're in Kokomo. I'm in Brown County. But I live in Brownsburg. I'm at my friend's house. You're in Amelia, Sullivan. Me too, Shannon. I'm right outside of Nashville. Right now, he, why I'm here, I'm right outside of Nashville. But again, I live in Brownsburg, which is about 10 minutes from the west side of Indy. It's that peanut from California. Only fruits and nuts come out of Cali. Proved it, peanut. I'll be right back. I gotta pee.
My stomach's growling. I'm a little bit hungry. Yeah, and like I said, he eats real clean and don't eat dairy and all that. I had to door dash some milk to me this morning because I don't know about you, but I can't start my day off without chocolate milk or milk of some sort. He's like, milk is horrible for you. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Of all the things I do to myself, milk is my least concern. And he was like, well, you should at least drink skim. And I'm like, no. No. I like full fat, vitamin D. Milk, period. Yeah, skim milk's like water, down milk. Ew. Ew. I like vitamin D, the red label kind. Whole milk. So good and rich and delicious. That's how I feel about it. It's like water. That's what she said, pickle juice. <laughs> and I got a bald spot right there. It's not, it's just the way my hair's parting. The heat, you need a lot. We need music is what we need. I wonder if there's a music channel on here. So the TV I hooked up is not connected. I don't know how to connect it to the cable box or whatever. So... Uh, dope, yeah, that was traumatic, to say the least. Dope queen. Yeah, <clears throat> that happened about a month ago. And I was alive when it happened, but I'm, I'm over it now. By my eyebrow. Well, there's TLC, so it has to be hooked up to the cable box. It's not a smart TV. So, I was messing around with this big TV, and then all of a sudden it didn't work. And I'm like, oh, shit. So, I went down the stairs and found another TV that I brought up here and, like, connected. It. See, it says TV, no signal. But here's the thing. I feel like there was something already wrong with that TV because I legit did nothing. And all of a sudden it went blank. I couldn't turn it on or anything. And then I looked over to the side of me back there. He's got a brand new 85 inch sitting there. So obviously something was wrong with his big TV in the first place. So I don't feel that bad. But I surely went and found another TV to hook up. Hold on a second. It's my dad. Hold on a second, it's my dad. Realize this? We're under, my dad just called and was like, because he knows where I'm at, he was like, you know you guys got a tornado warning, or a tornado watch, and I was like, no, I did not know that. He was like, yeah, half of it fucking Indiana, and he was like, Brown County has a tornado watch, so you need to be keeping an eye on that, and I was like, damn, I didn't, I had no idea. Yeah, so one night, someone that I used to work with came back um, to my house with me, and I was very, something happened, because I didn't have that much to drink that night, and I got really groggy, and like, I just kept passing out and shit, 
And one of the times I passed out, he didn't realize that my camera was live and did some disgusting shit. And then when I woke up, I was like, no, stop, whatever. And then I asked back out and he did it again. It was, it was bad and it was all live. And I cannot believe that TikTok, somebody, you know, it didn't get shut down, but... I'm surprised by that because I've done a lot less and been shut down, but it, it was bad. It was just a fucked up situation and it was embarrassing because first of all, I don't let that kind of thing happen to me. I definitely, something was slipped in my drink. I don't care what anyone says. I know for damn sure something was and everyone got to see it. That was the other reason. It was just like the whole thing just sucked. Saying it was bad. It was a bad scenario. And I am not a judgmental person. I'm not a racist person. I am not anything what YouTube tries to make me out to be. But I can tell you right now, this person who did this wouldn't, if you know me, you know I would never dare ever come close to anything. Like, he had no chance of anything ever happening. Ever. Am I going to come to Pakistan and find you on a camel somewhere? I'm from Afghanistan. Exactly. You run nothing. You don't work either. What? What is camel jockey a job? I don't care if you're on a camel, if you're jacking Listen, fucking oil out of the done. fucking desert. You are doing excellent. With your whole blah, 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 blah. The disrespect about my religion, I'm not having that. I'm gonna be real. No one honest. said anything about your religion. Whoa, Twelve seconds later. Fuck you, God always wins. Inshallah, Inshallah, get the fuck out of here. Like yeah, fuck you and your religion. I'm from Canada. Come you came to America, your ass would get ripped up and thrown in the ocean. You already know that. What Dare you to come to America. To you get on, go, 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 go. Goodbye. And let's see your fat wife. <laughs> That's me. I don't ever say the N word. You ain't never heard me say the fucking N word. When I'm drunk and I start to call somebody a name, you hear me stutter and fucking think twice about what I say. Yeah, you probably heard that a couple of times. So you ain't never heard the N word out of my mouth. It ain't going to fucking happen. Nice try. Don't you think if I said the N-word, I'd be nailed all across fucking Twitter hell right now? It ain't never gonna happen. Never has happened. I am tired of deadbeat, no good nig motherfuckers out here who'd rather suck a nigger, a fucking motherfucker's dick than- And then, if my dad would have seen him- Oh, God. I can't imagine what my dad would have done. You nigger motherfucker. Done. My dad lives right next door. I can't even believe that you, there's just, this is why, my man. I, I can't, never mind. I need to shut up, but this is why. No. I know. And it was at the bar that I go to all the fucking time. And funny enough, I don't, one of my friends have seen him one other time since that happened. And she cold shouldered him. Like, he came over and was trying to give her a hug. And she was like, uh-uh. Because she knows what happened. And since then, no one has seen him. So he knows he fucked up. And he knows that I know. Which I think he didn't think that I knew. But I know because I have it. I still have it on camera to this day. Like on TikTok, they don't repost your lives, but you do get a copy of it. The content creator does so that you can like clip it and repost clips if you want to. I have the entire thing on a live. No, I'm not going to say anything. I don't ever want to talk about to him. And I was too embarrassed to like do anything about it, you know, because I mean, even when it happened, people were criticizing me and all that. The last thing I want is. I just, I just want it to all go the fuck away. <laughs> okay? I just want it all to go away like it never happened. No, she, she, I'm not on vacation. I wish. I'm still in Indiana.
originally got this necklace at a tourist trap in Florida, Puna Gorda, and then I've had, I've lost it, and then I had to replace it, and the only place, I used to only go through their website, and apparently they're no longer, so I found someone else on Etsy who makes it, it's called Falling Stars, it's like a hundred bucks, dude, it's my favorite necklace ever. It was this guy that, I, this guy that, oh, just, it's so bad, I don't even want to talk about it. It brings up, like, the anxiety and all that shit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can get your, one for yourself. It's called the Falling Stars Necklace, and it's on Etsy. I'm going to wear a dress like I have on right now. Yeah, I'll show you. So... It's like one of these little romp. It's not a romper. It's like one of these dresses, but I'm going to wear the white one. I have one in white, and that's what I'm going to wear to the concert. Yeah. That's what I'm going to wear. Um, I'm going to Ario Speedwagon and train. I'm going to go plug up my thing so that we don't run out of battery. I'll be right back, guys. Be right back. We're back. It looked like it was going to rain. Now it looks like the sun's trying to peek out again. See? I wish I could go show you the water, but I don't have the Wi Fi, don't connect down there, and my phone doesn't have signal down there either. I was trying all morning and it just wasn't working out. Concert's tomorrow. You guys hear my stomach growling? He needs to get his ass home so that we can go get something to eat. Because I'm not eating. He is such a bachelor. There's nothing but, like, true leaves and beer and Diet Coke. A half-eaten pizza from God knows when. And, like, crackers and shit. I need some damn food. He doesn't... I haven't found a fishing pole yet. I'm gonna bring... I should have brought mine, but I didn't. I need some damn food. Do you hear my stomach again? I'm hungry. I could door dash something, but by the time it gets here, he'll have been here. He's supposed to be here about 3, 3.30, he said. First it was 2. Then he called and said, I'm working my ass off. I'm going to be later. And then he said, it'll be about 3, 3.30. Watch it turn into 5. But I'm fucking hungry. eating pee <laughs> exactly Dale Haley Columbus Indiana police officer I've been to Col Columbus quite a few times there's a good steakhouse there not really it's not even a steakhouse it's like a weird restaurant they got everything on the menu but it was pretty damn good me and Detroit went there a few years ago I did a review on that I cannot remember the name of it now I want to say Foxy's but I think that's wrong Fuzzies, Foxy's, something, I don't know. It's like Foxy's, I think. He ain't got no bread. He ain't got no fucking peanut butter. Are you kidding me? This is a bachelor pad. There, There's nothing here but crackers and SpaghettiOs. I've seen that. And just, no. Fuck, no. I don't want any of that.
I get hungry enough, I will, but... <clears throat> I'm going to tell him when he gets here, I want to go to Bloomington and get something to eat. We're not... It, everything in Nashville, like I've had before, like you got Big Woods, you got Brozini's. The same old, same old. Mexi There's a little Mexican joint, too. But I want to go to Bloomington and eat something good. What happened last night? I seen your TikTok. Nothing. The TikTok on this channel, that happened a long... That happened like a month ago. That happened like a month ago. Some... MF -er slipped me a roofie at the bar and then I came home he came into my house um, just walked right in it, it, it was someone that I considered a friend at the time just walked in after I told him repeatedly that I was going home I didn't feel good and no I didn't want to hang out then at about five minutes after my boss dropped me off he comes walking in my door knowing that I get my car no, I didn't get the car. So, the thing about the car with my credit and all that. Okay, so, the terrain, I didn't even apply for. Because then I found a GMC Denali, or Arcadia with a Denali. And I was like, oh, that's the car I want. So, they ran the numbers and everything. And they said, basically, either I need to come in with 9K. And the banks would do me a thing. Who has fucking 9K? Anyways, I need to come in with 9K or... I need to trade my focus in plus have a couple thousand dollars of the down payment in the work with me. And that's not going to happen. My focus is old faithful. Okay. That has gotten me through life. I've had it since 07. I paid it off in 09. It was brand new when I got it. That has literally never failed me. My parents even when they were between cars drove it for a couple years. Like there's no way I'm giving up my focus. That's there's no way. That's my backup car. So, I talked to my other buddy, not this buddy that I'm hanging out with, my other buddy, who's actually in from Florida, he lives in Florida, but he comes, he has, he's originally from here, but he lives in Florida now, he's up here to do some work, he owns a concrete business, and I told him what the deal was, and he said, fuck that, and fuck that price, he said, I'm just going to buy you one outright, and I was like, alright, I'll make you payments back, he was like, alright, let me find, basically, let me find the best vehicle that I can, because he didn't feel like that was a good price for as many miles were on it, and there was, it was under 100k miles, it was like 96k miles, but they were wanting 17,000 for it, and he was like, no, <laughs> And so, he is going to find one, buy it outright, and then give it to you, and I'll just pay him back. And he's like, you know, if you marry me. The damn car, and I'll give you payments, you know. Well, here's the thing about this, Ashley. I feel like that roofie or whatever it was, that is really nice of a minute, Hollywood. I feel like whatever they expected me to be out on my ass, and because I am such a tank and can handle a lot, it didn't. It kept making me go in and out. And then the next day, I felt a little weird. Like, I don't get hangovers. I'm, I'm, I'm an alcohol. I don't get hangovers. But the next day, I felt like I had a hangover real bad. So I know damn well something was slipped in my drink. But I think that they thought that it would make me out of my... But I kept coming back to life, <laughs> so to speak. So the plan didn't work for them. And that definitely wasn't my plan, so it didn't work for me either. Nerve. Mm -mm. I had terrible credit and I have no money to put down. I do have another vehicle that I could trade in, but I don't want to. It's not an option. Well, after it happened, I kept telling everybody, I feel so sick. I was even saying when I was live, I had the presence of mind. I, somewhere in the back of my head, I knew something went right. So I turned on the camera. But the entire, like, 
one day we'll relive this. I'm not ready to yet. But I kept saying something's wrong. I was like, I don't feel good. Something's wrong. I kept saying it over and over and over again. Yeah, because I paid it. It's paid off. Why would I give up my paid off car for a 2000 It's worth more owning than fucking getting 2500 which is what they were going to give me the trade-in value. And But then I still need to bring in a couple grand. No and no. So... It's not my time, guys. It's not my time. Glitter and glow. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Now I don't trust anyone. Like, if I'm up at the bar or whatever, like, I'll wash my drinks. I'm going to drink my drink completely before I have to go to the restroom, and then I'll get a fresh one. But I will never leave a drink sitting on the bar ever, ever again. I don't care what kind of company you think you in, you're in or you got friends sitting around there. Because I, my boss was sitting up at the bar. Um... Everyone around me were my friends. The guy who did this to me, I thought, was my friend. And I know it was him, because why would he come over to my house after he kept trying to give me a ride home? Finally, my boss said, no, I'm taking her home. She drops me off, and within five minutes, he's walking in my front door. You know exactly what the fuck you did. And I have it all on tape, too. So, I could have got him in serious trouble. Maybe I should have. But I'm just like embarrassed by the whole thing and I can't believe it happened to me and just all my, so many thoughts and stuff that I don't want to go through. I don't even want to talk about, honestly. So I didn't. I'm just hope I, just, I hope it goes away and never like I never want him to do that to someone else again in the same token. But fuck this. I don't know. And even when I was trying to tell my story, that I had a bunch of trolls in here talking shit to me about it and all that. And it just was like, okay. This is what I'm going to get, like, forget it. Or I brought it on myself and stuff like that. I don't know. I just don't want to hear it. And I just hope it, I just don't want to talk about it. Want it all to go away. You know? Yeah. Just act like it never happened. It's embarrassing as fuck. I'll tell you that. I haven't been this embarrassed in a long time. Like, and that's the only word I can come up with. Like, I'd have the biggest trophy. Other than that, why do I feel like I deserve, or not even deserve, I wouldn't say deserve. Or I want this lifestyle. This Mexican food would be okay, or so I don't, I'm having a hard time chewing, so I can't go out and eat extravagant, like a soup, and maybe salad or something, a chicken salad, a buffalo chicken salad. Or like a, a chicken Caesar salad and like French onion soup, I could eat that every day. But I don't want like anything extravagant. Look, it's starting to... I gotta go pee, so I'll let you guys have this view for a while. I'll be back. I gotta pee. I'm back. As my stomach growls again, I'm fucking hungry. I'm... There's shit to eat in there. Just know that I'm picky and I don't want it. 
so I'm not starving, because if I was starving, I'd be in there eating, but I am hungry. Yeah, I had, I had, I opened some, I just ate a peanut butter cracker, but still, I think that's probably why my stomach's gurgling too, is finally food hit my stomach. We had a great dinner last night and all that, but I'm hungry. I door dashed some milk earlier. And he's supposed to be home. He was supposed to be home between three. At first he said two. Then it was like, oh shit, I'm busy. It's going to be like three, three, thirty. Now it's almost four. So I'm sure I'll get something. He probably won't be here till five. When he gets here, I'm going to be like, I'm never staying at your house again because you don't have enough food. You don't have anything that I'd like to eat in here. He don't eat dairy or anything. He's a very clean eater and all that. I say that, but his fridge is full of Diet Cokes and Trulies and beer and shit like that. And like I said, a half-eaten pizza from God knows when and random shit that I don't want. Yeah. Totally by myself. All day. But again, I'm going to REO Speedwagon and train tomorrow, so he wanted to make it like a thing, like come and hang out. Plus, you know, he knows that my cousin's been living there and driving me nuts, so he's like, just come and stay at my house. I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> like, and it's not a black, it's not a bad gig, because I could go get in the lake, I could. I have, access, I have the key to his boat, and, like, there's a hot tub. There's all kinds of shit to do here, but it's just rained all day. So, that's why I'm, like, stir-crazy. We're under a tornado watch. Yeah, he called me last week and was like, guess what I got? And I was like, what'd you get? He said, I got REO Speedwagon and train tickets and something yacht club, some other something yacht club's going to be there. He was like, will you go with me? And I was like, of course I'll go with you. Say less. He was like, well, uh, good, because I got excellent seats, which first two row, we're sitting in the second row, but right in front of the stage. And he got uh, VIP parking and VIP bar passes, which means we can go there in unlimited drinks. And second row seats. Fuck yeah. I told him I'd go before I even knew all that. All you had to say was REO Speedwagon. Hell yes. Train's alright too. I, I don't mind train, but I don't know the other one. It's something Yacht Club. Royal's good. That's what my dad was calling. He said, Royal's fine. I fed him. I gave him water. And he was like, and by the way, where you're at is under a tornado watch. So be careful. And I was like, all right, dad. Love you, mate. Ciao, bye. That's what my dad, what my dad was calling about. Plus, he needed to borrow my car earlier to go do whatever. And I said, that was fine. And he found a pack of cigarettes in there. And he's like, can I have them? And I'm like, I guess. Because my stepmom's getting on him because she don't have a job or whatever. And so my dad got his social security on the 3rd. And that went straight to rent. So he got no money in his pocket. So he can't go buy himself a pack of cigarettes if he wanted to. And now she's bitching saying, you need to quit. You need to quit. Hey, my account. I forgot I had that pack of cigarettes in there, but I did. I got it yesterday and threw it in my passenger seat, and now I'm almost out. That's another reason he needs to get here. Hold on a second, guys. We're going to go outside for a minute. I can't say what for because we're on TikTok, but we're going to go outside for a minute. It is getting bright out. I don't... How are we under a tornado and the sun is out? That's Indiana, though. One minute it's raining, the next minute a tornado, and then it's sunshine.
I would. I would go down by the water, but I lose connection. I'll tell you one thing though. He is moving his hot tub from the second. I'm up on the top. But if you can still see, there's a second. There's a second deck. And that has the hot tub on it. But he is moving it to right there. And that's what they're building. And down there, the third deck, that's like the pier where his boat and everything's on. I can't see anything out here. It's so bright. No, you can't right now. It's very quiet here. Very, very quiet. Peaceful. I got those pool noodles out because I had every intention of going into the lake today, but then it started raining. see no tornadoes. I think we'll be just fine. I need to get my toes done is what I need to do. They're all grown out. And I need to get them repainted. And da da. Yeah, it's a very nice setup. And this is just one of his houses. He's got multiple houses. He rents out a bunch of them. Um, he's got a condo down in the Florida Keys. He's got, which I already told him, I want to go to Florida next month. And he's like, all right, let's go. I wanted to, well, I would prefer to go, of course, the sooner the better, but he's got a big job and all that, so he's got to put, you know, he's got to let his people know, and plus, I got to let my people know, and the schedule's already been made, and that's the thing. I got the management job, but last night, we sat here, and he's way smarter than me, and we mathed the math, so even getting paid 20 bucks an hour as a manager and serving at night, here's the thing. I am going to lose a lot more money come football season and everything else when everyone's in the winter time when everyone's piling in. Basically, we did the math. I showed him my year-to-date statements and all that, and he's smart like that. <clears throat> so he did everything, and he was like, basically, 
you are going to be taking on a position getting paid the same amount and and he was like honestly probably a little more serving tables um so the only thing that you're benefiting is being being able to say i'm a manager so you're going to get paid the same amount but you're going to have a lot more headache on top of that is that what you want to do plus i don't have the freedoms being a manager like i can't it, if I take this managing gig, I can't just say, hey, I'm going to Florida next month. Peace out. There, that's not an option. You have to, like, plan your vacations months ahead of time. As a server, I can be like, hey, you know, or whatever. And I have it pretty good. I get away with a lot of shit that people don't get away with, you know.